Hello there. I've got a fine selection of wares. Curious what's inside, are you? You can find out. If you buy it. <laughs> Many thanks. It goes without saying, but no returns. We've been hard at work with Master Kano since you last saw us. Maybe this is a good chance to see how much we've improved. Care to spar a little? All the better. I certainly wasn't planning to. We're ready. Whenever you are. Down this time! Hey, I can't believe we still aren't a match for you. You're very strong. To think out loose again. <sighs> well, at least we put up more of a fight this time. Eh, Ito? Right. We don't have time to dwell on our losses anyway. Not if we've got the betterment of this nation to worry about. Thank you, Master Kano, for all you've done for us. We've made an excellent headway, thanks to you. I admit I was rather skeptical of your capacity for improvement at first, but seeing how much you've grown, you've more than earned my respect. It makes me want to develop a form of combat focused on non-lethal self-defense. A discipline that allows practitioners to take measure of each other's skill. Through training, my students will learn a new way to live. A gentle way. Or judo, so to speak. Quite the great man, isn't he? What do you make of this? Well, at first none of us held a high opinion of the other, right? But by training together, we came to accept, even respect, one another. I want others to experience such growth for themselves. Perhaps Judo will be the key to making that happen. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I want Judo to be a way of life rather than a way of fighting. I think it sounds like a splendid idea. Perhaps spreading Judo's principles 
far and wide, will cultivate the peace we are all in search of. And we'll do our part to form a government that will help make that peace a reality. Great! Let's aim for nothing less! I'm over here. It's you. No. Oh, you're here as well, are you? Ah, oh, that's very kind of you. I'm not sure if the medicine is working or not, but the abrupt coughing seems to have abated somewhat. As long as I draw my breath, I want to be able to aid my comrades. That is my hope, anyway. But nothing anyone says is getting through to Hishikata right now. Even though I doubt Kondo desires to participate in this foolish conflict. Farewell. Have you heard from Katsu? Hijikata is intent on getting back at the Satsuma Choshu Alliance for what was done to Kondo. The fool is beyond listening to reason. In fact, he's even gone so far as to drive us all out from the outpost. Katsu mentioned something about Saito willing to help. However, it appears Lord Katamori has called him away. This is when Katsu is trying to prevent an all-out battle for Edo. Should the Shinsengumi wage war, I fear that all his efforts will have been wasted. We may have to stop them by force, but they're already stocking up on heavy artillery. Getting involved now would surely result in retaliation. That said, with your help we might stand a chance. I beg of you. Talk to Hijikata. I'm counting on you. Be sure to tread carefully.
Like a predator hunting prey. To get the Hitchikata, you have to go through me first!
Ready.
Don't back down now. I warn you, not to get in the way. To die here today. You hear me? Kondo wanted us to live, Hijigata. You mustn't forget the mission he entrusted to us on that day. To become samurai for a new age. If we are to die here like dogs, will the true meaning of his words be lost forever? I think we should look for the answer to that question together, Hijikata. Besides, you can always die later. Yes. It seems I need to calm my mind. We won't start a fight for selfish reasons. That is my promise as the vice captain of the Shinsengumi. I shall now go and calm my troops. They must be pretty worked up. But remember, all of us fully intend to fight and die like true samurai. So the next time we fight, it will be to the death. Until then, if you have any business to discuss with us, we will receive you here. Some business with me. All right, then. That is all I have to say. It's you. What is it? Allow me to thank you. I see. Very well, then. If you have work to do, then go. What is it? Oh, really? Have I not shared that with you? My dream is to build the most powerful army on Earth. An army that not only exhibits superior strength, but one that will stop at nothing to fulfill its duties, a dragon corpse. Long have I searched for soldiers worthy of such a regiment. And now, since coming to Japan, I believe my dream is about to come true.
I see. Very well, then. If you have work to do, then go. Oh! Have you got something to say to me? I see. Later then. I'm over here. Oh. oh, hello there. The medicine seems to have been the real thing. I've been coughing less and less since I took it. I'm sorry for all the worry I must have caused. It seems I'll still be able to wield my sword in the future. For my sake, if Odin Taros. That's about it then. What did you want to say? Understood. Farewell. Oh, it's you. Ah, it's you. We have some pressing matters to discuss. Leave us for now. One moment, Lord Katamori. I believe I found the perfect blade for this mission. I'd like to take them with me, if I may. Hmm. You may be right. Very well. I'll leave the matter in your hands. Rumor has it Kondo's head is to be displayed at the Sanjo Gawara execution grounds in Kyoto. If that be true, it could serve as the spark which sets the Shinzangumi to revolt. It would make a mockery of Kondo's dying wish. That remains unclear. Though from what Hijikata has told us, we're not holding out much hope. If the Shinsengumi is to suffer the indignity of having Kondo's head displayed, they will surely seek revenge by starting a fight with the Satsuma Choshu army. After that, a battle for Edo will be inevitable, and Katsu's efforts will have been for naught. He told us that, should he be killed, he did not want his head to be displayed in public. Only Lord Katamori and I know. Were Hijikata to get wind of this, I believe he would not be able to contain his rage. I want you to go to Kyoto with Saito and ascertain the truth of this rumor. Good. I'm counting on you. Now head out. We strike at the first chance. Examine 
empty. It's only bait. Just the two of you? And there I was hoping to kill you all. Sorry to disappoint. But we are more than enough. You're stubborn one. I stick your hands to the executor's ground. Will you go stay with Kondo? Forgive me, Master Yabi. It seems Kondo's head may be at the execution ground. Let's go. Right. Kondo's head must be here somewhere. There's no reason for Kawakami to lie about it. Kondo, I've come for you. There was one other thing I promised, Kondo. And that was to get rid of anyone who knew about this severed head. Do not think ill of me. I have nothing against you, but you must die here. Prepare yourself. I knew you wouldn't make this easy. UCI, who was once so ruthless, used to strive only to hone my skills as a swordsman. To what end? I knew not. But Kondo recruited me as I was, and showed me a path to follow. <gasps> Kondo! Were we not both searching for a meaning behind the sword? I hardly expect you to forgive me for my actions. If you are going to kill me, know that I am fully prepared to receive your blade. Only do not reveal what you saw today. In the next world, I hope that I can apologize to Kondo for breaking my promise.
Good to see you. Thanks to you, I'm right as rain again. Just look. Like this and this. I know you're always looking out for me. I guess that's just how it goes with us, huh? So, while I've been resting, I've had a lot of time to think. Once all this is over, I want to take that trip to America. See, my friends continued fighting for our beliefs, for a new dawn. Even when I couldn't. That's how I know Japan will be alright without me. So I want to travel around America and see everything it has to offer. I think everything's pretty much settled down now. Well, <clears throat> I, I thought so, but I suppose I was wrong. But still, I'm not worried about our future anymore. With you, Katsura, and Katsura around, I know our country is in good hands. Don't say that. You'll make it so much harder for me to leave. But I have to do this. I have to see what a truly new Japan might look like. The truth is, i love for you to be there with me. But we each have our own path to walk. And that's why we have to part ways, at least for now. But we'll be reunited one day. You're my counterpart, after all. I just have one last thing to ask you. Will you spar with me? Think about it. We've known each other all this time, but never once properly dueled. Also, I can't be walking around with a sword in America. <laughs> Let me put the samurai part of myself to rest, huh? Let's do it at the place where everything began. The place where we first met. The Magistrate's Estate in Yokohama. So how about it? Care to go around? Good answer. Let's go. Visibility is good today. The horizon is crystal clear. We walked all the way here, didn't we, when we first met? Feels like it was only yesterday. Right then. Don't hold back. Give me everything you've got. Let's see if I can handle it. Maybe have to it up a little bit longer. You should know better than anyone, but I'm far from beaten. I feel alive. I don't even want this to end. You got me. Crossing swords with you really brings home how strong you are. Well, now that I fought the strongest warrior around, I can go with no regrets. This is the end of Yoma Sakamoto, the Japanese samurai. From now on, I'm Yoma Sakamoto, citizen of the world. Listen, I want you to have my sword. I'm forever in your debt for all you've done. Besides, it's not like I can carry it around with me in America. 
There's a saying they have over there. It's always darkest before the dawn. It might feel dark now, but I believe Japan's new dawn is close at hand. If we work together, I know we can iron out these last few problems. Now once we do, I can head to America with my conscience clear and mind at ease. Ah, you can count on me.